In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your own control program with an adjustable set point. Means creating a data point in your program, which is then defined and can be configured with other BACnet clients in the network. This could be, for example, at the SQL CC, or it could be also for the commissioning phase, then an ABT Go, which is used to define the set point or change the set point in your application function. I have prepared here a little heating application function. I created here an own application function called heating evaluation application function. For my application function, I'm using two data points. So one is the input, which is, comes from the room temperature on the X1 input. And then I have an output data point, which controls then a radiator electrical position on the Y1 output. When I now go into the application function, having a look there, I already created a little control program, little logic to it. And the only thing which is missing now is the set point for my application function. The set point now for this application function or for this uh, heating control loop, I'm going to create in the BACnet objects first. So changing to the BACnet object editor uh, allows me then to create this kind of uh, this kind of data point. I'm going to the end of the list and now here I'm able to create additional data points. We have in the Desigo room automation uh, three um, value object, so-called value object in the BACnet world. The first one is the calculated a value object. Uh, this is mainly used if you want in your CFC code a BACnet object, which you are able then to read and to monitor in the system, in other clients, for example, in the Zigo CC or in um, APT Go or other clients. If you want to read a value only and to monitor a value of your CFC code, then you use this kind of BACnet object. The configuration value, that's the one which we use for the set point. So that's the, uh, the data points where you then can uh, write and uh, change in uh, your system. So that's the one we want to use then later on. But let's finalize the group of our uh, value objects. The last one is the process value. And the process value gives you the opportunity in your CFC code to create an object which can be then also overridden by the system. So that's the three main objects we are using for creating CFC code. As mentioned, for the set point, we are using the config value. So I'm setting now here a config value object, and with that, it's already um, created here. I can give it also a proper name and proper description, because this is now my uh, heating evaluation uh, config value. So I'm getting here a description. So heating evaluation set point. There we go. Also base name. I give it a base name here. Heating eval set point. There we go. So with that done, I'm able now to uh, bring that object also into my CFC code. And for this, I'm just uh, splitting here the windows. And just by simply drag and dropping here now the element into my CFC code, I'm able then to use that block in my CFC code. I undo the split of the window and now I'm just able to uh, connect that one with my code and then my code is ready to go with created heating set point value. The heating set point value is now also uh, visible here in my um, room segment of the application 
and this is now then also the set point uh, or the data point which I can where I can define the set point of my application. 